what's going on youtube welcome back to another banger and hey, in today's video i'm about to go ahead and show y'all real quick what i have before i tell y'all what's in today's video so y'all already damn near don't know i gotta run inside the house real quick all right y'all see this right here let's go ahead and bring this stuff out i'm gonna get it showing we outside all right y'all so we got our ported snout right here as y'all know i told y'all i was getting a ported snout let me grab the towel real quick and y'all i am painting my burner rims because i'm gonna do a new wrap i got an idea for the back two rims for whenever i'm sliding so don't mind that so we got our ported snout right here as you can see it's ported by stg motorsports i'm not sponsored but we about to see how they work is they give us a gasket for the snout they give us a sticker and i was on some hungry stuff they gave us sour patch um strips but you know me i had to eat them before the video even began um, yeah no we also have this throttle body by kong performance i'm not sponsored by them either but we're gonna see how they product are my bad I, I i'm i'm very illiterate okay we're gonna see how they product perform their products are their products is the throttle body comes with screws that look like hair ties i'm pretty sure these is like i don't know oh this don't come with nothing else brick is calling me because he's about to pull up and help me so one second all right y'all so we got our ported snout with the gasket we got our throttle body with the screws now we just need to install the throttle body on to this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and he told me to install this gasket on there so that's what we're gonna do buddy we're gonna install this gasket right on there it goes like this yeah we love that shit. i wish i had a tripod bro i'm literally using my hands let me search around for a tripod i can't do this i want to sit y'all up while i work on the car all right y'all i found a little trash tripod i used to get from five and below but it works Yeah, we good y'all right, let's go ahead and set y'all up while i put this on so it looks like we need some allen keys we got us some allen keys right here let's go ahead and install this i don't know what these is for these little rubber things hold on we had it on wrong my bad put the throttle body on right here but we need our gasket I'm loose as hell, bro. I'm about to forget everything, bro. What's going on? All right, y'all. So it looks as if the gasket doesn't line up. Dumbass motherfucker. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start by stripping the supercharger because I need to know exactly how this is all set up. So let me go ahead first by loosening up the supercharger belt. So we need a 13 millimeter. <sighs> Loosen that bitch up. Bring the belt off. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. As you can see, we got a halfway off. Oh! It's giving me a hard time, but we're still gonna get it. Come on, baby. Oh, let me get a wrench it, my bad. All right, here we go. Let's get it. All right, that was way easier. Yep, there we go. We basically got the belt off. Just wiggle the belt around the pulley and the hose. All right, we got the belt off. Let's go ahead and take this leg maker off real quick. Plug the sensor. Actually, I should go ahead and unplug my battery real quick. Give me one second. All right, so we go ahead out. There we go. Leg maker out the way, so we got more access to the throttle body. Let's go ahead and take the plastic pieces off the supercharger cap. Off the supercharger, my bad. That's one. That's two. We're gonna wanna start unplugging every sensor you can see connected to the supercharger. Undo that, that's one. And you also need a clip popper so you can undo these clips gently. We got this sensor, this red one. You wanna take them off politely. You don't wanna be aggressive so you don't break the sensors. This sensor right here. Now we go ahead and undo this little hose right here. Uh, there we go. You wanna go ahead and take this back piece off the plastic. I done did this several times, so I'm not even gonna record this part. I'm gonna just go ahead and take it off in three two one all right y'all so we got the back piece off now you want to go ahead and grab our flathead wherever i put it wherever i put that bitch at where did i put it at bro i'll be losing stuff so quick oh there it goes right here in my face okay so it is you know i don't even need to take that sensor off back there because all i gotta do to take the snout off is literally lift up the supercharger I don't have to take out the supercharger. I can just lift it up. So that's all we're going to do. So I don't need to take no sensors out back there. Um, what I do need to do is. Let's see. Do I need to do that? Yeah. So. 
I need that T30. Where's the T30 at? It's a T30 right here. So now what you want to do is it's a whole bunch of small little bolts. They're T20 sockets. So you want to go ahead and take all these out. After that, it's some on the side as well, which is the fuel rail. You want to take them two out on each side, and then it should be able to lift right up after you take out all these 10 millimeters around here. So let's go ahead and get the undoing that. There's approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. God. God damn. 22, 23, 24, 25. There's 25 T30s. I didn't even include the 10 millimeters right here that actually hold the supercharger in. This is just for the lid. We about to take the supercharger lid off real quick so we can have more access to the actual snout. Let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, they come out easy. So I'm gonna just loosen all of them up one by one like that we are gonna respray our supercharger lid. So don't worry about if I mess it up with this damn socket. All right, y'all, so we got all of them loosened. Now I'm about to go ahead and actually twist them all out with the electric ratchet. All right, so we're gonna take them out one by one. King got heat. My electric ratchet about to die, but we got all those out. Now let's actually fully take them all out. Oh, I forgot these top ones, my bad, y'all. And I believe we got to take out this sensor right here too as well, so. Got this sensor out. Got these bolts out. All right. Before we lift the supercharger lid, we got to undo all these 10 millimeter bolts that's on here. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 of them left. So let's go ahead and do that. We don't want to use a drill because we don't want to break the gasket on the supercharger. So we're going to use a ratchet and then we're going to go ahead and lightly undo them. So give me one second. I'm going to get back at y'all. All right, y'all, we loosened up all the 10 millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and switch drills. We can't use the hand one anymore. We have to charge that up. So let's put it on here. Ow. We got all the bolts undid. Now what we gotta do is snatch them all out. Long as bolts, dog. These bitches long as hell, dog. Hold on. Let's take the rest out. This is my first time doing motor work. Let's hope we don't blow this out. All right, that's our last bolt. Now we gotta gently go ahead and pry this clip off. Actually, we have to yank it out. All right, we got that clip out. You don't pry it open. You wanna just try to lift it up a little bit. I'm low key kind of nervous. Is that even how I do it? I think I do it. Maybe I am gonna pry it just a little bit on the sides, just a little bit. Eventually. All right, y'all, I just got off the phone with Brick. Brick told me what was holding it down because if y'all didn't know, Brick is coming 850 horsepower and he already did that. So y'all gotta go watch his videos. But, but he said it's a rubber grommet down here holding this piece down. You see this rubber piece right here? All it needs is a, a good pry. So I guess we do have to be aggressive. Let me grab the pry bar. All right, y'all, I'm about to pry it up. There we go. There we go. Supercharger lid is off. Yes, sir. Oh! Y'all, look at all this oil buildup on the supercharger lid. Oh my God, that is terrible, bro. We gotta wipe that down and then we gotta get our oil catch can on here, bro. I'm not gonna lie, cause that's bad. Since we got the supercharger lid off, now what we wanna do is we wanna take this piece off with the rubber grommet, which is a T30. Okay. Our gasket is still good. It don't look like nothing's bad on it. So we are gonna reuse it. You just gotta be careful, very careful when doing this. God, I'm about to strip that boat. Why is this one so hard to get to, bro? Let's put these to the side because we don't want to mix them up. Oh my God, how do we take that out, brother? I think this is the gasket where people have trouble at. I think these are the gaskets that they be breaking. So we're going to slowly... Yep, that's exactly the one that be breaking. We got to be careful. There we go. We didn't break it, y'all. Yes, sir. Woo! Woo! Y'all, look at my blower. Ooh, that's not good, y'all. Y'all see that right there? We gonna have to put our lower next. It looks as if it was rubbing or something. That's no good. No bueno. But for the most part, shit is straight. 
cap. We're gonna have to clean off the whole entire supercharger lid part and we gotta clean that off. It's all type of oil all over the place. And we're gonna change the oil today too because I do need to change the oil. We're at 20%. Like, look at this buildup. Look at that oil buildup, bro. Oh! That's disgusting. Let's see how we can play this, y'all. All right, so these are 13 millimeters. Let's go ahead and take these 13 mils out first. So gonna go ahead and undo them bolts that's back here. Once you get these off, you will for sure 100% need to lift up the supercharger. Actually, what am I doing, bro? I'm being lazy. Let's go ahead and undo these few rails, bro. Let's take off these T30s. We can go ahead and lift up the supercharger. Is this connected? Yeah, this is connected. We got to undo this right here, y'all. I actually figured out all I had to do was take the pry bar and kind of shove it in between here a little bit and pry it up just a tad bit and we got it loose. So now what you want to do is you want to get a plank of wood as I learned from brick video. Lift up the supercharger and stick the plank of wood up under there and hold it up while you go ahead and zip them bolts out. I'm going to go ahead and attempt that. If that doesn't work, you know I'm going to figure out a way. bolts is there up under here there's three more bolts up under here there's three at the top three at the bottom this seems like it's damn near gonna be impossible to do i think i need somebody lifting this up while i take the bolts out bro that's sound way more convenient all right y'all while we wait on somebody to pull up to help me lift up this supercharger i'm about to go ahead and wipe all this built up oil off of here This is why y'all need to get an oil catch can. And we got to go ahead and clean this one out too, because this one's worse. All right, y'all, we cleaned it out. Now all we're doing is just waiting on Brick or Bobby or one of them to come help me lift up the supercharger. They said they around the corner. It's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to get it y'all when they get here. All right, y'all, we got some help from Bobby. We got all six of the bolts out, but we broke one. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't cause us any problems in the future. Let's go ahead and use this pry bar, see if we can pry this off. It's not coming off, bro. You think it's because of that bolt? I mean, no, nah, because you should still be able to loosen up all the other sides and that bolt will be. Exactly. You just have to just get that bitch out. Bro, this is harder than y'all think. Gosh, damn, I'm trying not to be too aggressive on it, too. Because at the same time, I could around and mess this thing up that's why we need brick here but brick being inconvenient right now my nigga all right y'all i'm gonna get at y'all when we get this off because right now i'm very confused <laughs> one eternity later all right y'all so brick came in clutch bobby he ain't helping <laughs> <laughs> you probably can get that out with vice grips look so he got it out so i think we broke the gasket though so all we got to do is wiggle this out he's wiggling out right now so the gasket broke there's no gasket there. What the f <laughs> This rebuilt this motor. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody definitely rebuilt this before. What the f There's no gasket. It's just silicone there. That's why it was so hard to get off. Bro, we literally even put bolts back inside the supercharger and everything. We was wiggling it. It was not coming out. But strong, masculine. Brick came hey, out. yo. Like a <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all we got to do is take off this hose right here, and then we're good. We can start swapping everything over. Inside of this look way different than mine. It does? Yes. Uh, Y'all, I'm excited. Why the f did you take your fuel injector things off? So it can lift up more? That, that don't dumb. make a difference. That's you what happens when you take forever and you lie to me. Bro. I didn't lie to you. You lied what to what me. What then what you I said you was about. going to get your car washed. Nigga, it took two hours to get your car washed? I had to get tires. You didn't tell me that, nigga. See, you had me nigga. waiting. I don't care. Shit was looking like a Johnny with the weak ass rim on my shit. Now come buy these tires from me. No. Hey, you like my rims though? My no, burner rims? Ass. <laughs> Them bitches look like some a clown car rim. Bro, but look. Just, you might as well have painted them bitches yellow. Look, just think about this. Imagine a with them on there, but new tires. New tires, of course. That shit is On the back ass. of them. You sound dumb. Oh, Stop hating. Bro. Bobby, is that shit sweet or is that shit ass? He can see the vision. I see it. I don't see that shit. I think that shit is ass. Bro, you ain't ever seen them take over cars with the two different color wheels on the back? They look like some clowns to me. Bro, what the f Bro, you trying to cut the hose? We trying to take the hose? This long piece of wood y'all got holding the f***ing supercharger up. <laughs> y'all took that from the garden things that's back there. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? We damn near don't even need you no more, but we still need you. It wasn't that much to go. We, this we nigga just, just need dumb. this boat out. I said that. That's pretty much what's kind of holding it. was tugging on it. No, no, no. It was this gooey shit. Though. Can you put regular gooey. gasket maker on here? You could, but I don't recommend it. Yeah, because I had I had to get order a whole nother gasket. So you going to be able to get this out? Oh, fuck. If you can get it out, you the man. All right. 
Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Whoa. All right, y'all. We got this off. While we over here swapping stuff off of the, 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 the snout, my nigga Trey finna be taking off the nut or the bolt that's stuck in there. How much you want, big dog? All right, bitch. See, that's why with him, dog. Yo, bro, guy just wants some shit free lane, man. Hey! Shut your whole ass up, your hate, man. And you always get waxed for something you yeah, hate. I don't man. get waxed. And you know what's good about your car? What? It doesn't have a lot of blow by oil, bro. <laughs> That's because he waxed. Oh, wow. <laughs> nigga, what? Blow, blow by oil, nigga. What is blow by oil? That's when you have oil in your supercharger. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it was all over the place. What do you it mean? Was? You yes. It? Yes, I cleaned oh, it. My shit was like it was that too. it was all up in there too, bro. It was yeah, everywhere. My shit was like that too. All right, y'all. We about to start by taking off sense this sensor right here that was giving me a hard time. You don't have the tool to take off your pulley. What's the tool? Can I go get it from O'Reilly's or something? No. Well, I can't. I don't even think the red eye one is the Hellcat one is the same. This right here goes in on yours and mine's poke out. Mine's protrude out. Hmm. Living noise might have it. I can't take it off with a 13 mil? No, that's the um the bearings inside here. To take the pulley off, you gotta pop this cover off. All right, we got the sensor out. Let us start transferring stuff over. All right, y'all, we got that little grommet piece on. Now we about to go ahead and put the Kong throttle body on. As you can see, we tightening all these Allen keys up. Now we got the Kong throttle body on with the new. Yeah. All I'm missing is the upper pulley. You see that bitch up close? You feel me? That's all horsepower right there. Hey, I'm gone. Hey, go be fine. Hey, 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 nigga, where you going? Stick it. y'all it's the next day we at rohan house right now hello there you got this beautiful husky right here what's up little man bro don't be scared bro you in a bag bro? what's his name again milo milo sit sit down good boy paul oh see that's why i f with huskies bro you my man i miss my nigga shadow bro what oh oh all right, best. So the reason why we're here is because of this tool right here. I don't have this, and I had to go up to Liver Noise, which is like a tuning place, to buy this. It goes on to the back right here, as you can see. You line it up, you put it in there, and you need all. Oh, don't we need something to hold this down? Strong man. You got it? Nope. No, but we're gonna try. <laughs> We need something to hold this down. We would need to hit it with one of the, this right here. This is a 24 socket. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. Y'all, this nigga's crazy. He think he can hold this down with his hands. Let's see. You ready? Yeah. That you good? Yeah. We got a little bit off. We did? Yeah. No, it been like that, I think. Damn, I'm gonna give myself props. You think if we was to use this? That seemed like it might do it. All right, now we're about to try it again. This is the vibration. You can go up crazy. What do you mean by that? We're thinking of a solution. I'm going to get back at y'all. All right, y'all. So Rohan has a neighbor. That's cool. He's helping us out. So um, he currently got the pulley off of the old one. And the pulley's in the garage over there. He about to go take it over there. He about to record for y'all. He about to record, right? Yep. Yes, sir. All right, so he going to catch y'all. When he's in the garage. All right, so we just spun this on. It's a new upper pulley with the Kong throttle body. So we're gonna tighten this down now. All right, what's up, YouTube? It's the next day, next morning. We went through some stuff, bro, but we got everything ready. The leg maker on. We do need to get another one of these because we had to force this on and go to Home Depot. We literally went to like four different stores to find a clamp that was able to fit right here. And this still doesn't fit. I had to put a rag right here so it doesn't rub and scratch my intake. This nigga brick then stripped the nut right here on this um, tensioner pulley. So I ended up being stressed out and that postponed a lot of stuff and it was dark. So I'm like, let me just put the car together and then I'm gonna pop back out with the YouTube video in the morning. So this is the next morning and we basically ready to start the car up. But first we're gonna change the oil because we are on 20%. That's around the time that I always change my oil is when it touched 20%. So we gonna go ahead and do that. We got our oil over here. As y'all know from the take and delivery of my baby TRX video, that oil catcher I think is trash, but a lot of people was in the comments saying that I had to unscrew that other one for like a bleeder type thing. So the air would stop it 
well, the air will actually let the oil in. We about to actually attempt it this time. We got this bucket just in case. I really don't want to use this because I want to use it for other stuff, but we're going to use this worst come to worst. If it starts spilling, I hurry up and yank this over. So let's grab this 13 and get the drain in the oil. Oh, there we go. The moment of truth. Let's bring this bucket a little bit closer, please. Go in there, right? I'm not trying to make a mess. It's going in there. Yes. My supporters was correct. I love y'all. Thank you. If it wasn't for y'all, I'd be making a mess right now. Yep. It's going straight in there. I forgot to undo the cap, y'all. I'm an NPC. It's our oil filter right here. Per usual, let's go ahead and lube it up. Put that oil all around the ring. All right, there we go. We got that out. Let's go ahead and put the drain plug back in here. There we go. Let's put our new filter on. All right, new oil filter on. That's done. Let's go ahead and put our new oil in. All right, y'all, we got coolant bled. We got supercharger back on. We got oil changed. All right, y'all, we about to start it. We gonna let it warm up because it's cooling all over the place and we gotta make sure it's not overheating before we go ahead and take it for a test drive. Everything sounds good though. I'm excited to hear what it sounds like. This is exactly what I've been wanting for a long time. Hopefully it actually sounds like what I expected it to sound like. I don't see why not though, because that throttle body is huge, bro. Like we couldn't even find a clamp to go over it. So is the snout, bro. The snout is huge. So I don't see no reason why it's not gonna do exactly what I thought it was gonna do. So we about to go ahead and call Jordan from Underground Tuning to see how we can log the car so he can like tweak with the settings and stuff like that. Hello? My good sir. You put the uh, snout on? Yep. How did it drive? Did you drive on the end? I ain't drove it yet. I just warmed it up and made sure I bled my cooling and shit like that. So you know how data log? No, that's what I really called you for. All right, so we go to TDM. You click uh, data log down here. Yep. Make sure you plug in, you're gonna click start, you're gonna click OK. Give it about 15 seconds and you'll see like an RPM and stuff, and it'll start data logging. And then, um, you know, just drive around in it. Uh, you can floor it too if you want. So uh, basically, drive, drive it regular, do my regular driving pulls and all that extra shit. Do it for like three or four minutes and then hit stop. And then uh, it's gonna try to end the log. And after it's done, you wanna click uh, view and sync files, then click upload, and then click sync files. All right, y'all, so we about to go ahead and data log my car by plugging this up. So I'm gonna get it y'all when we on the app. All right, y'all, as you can see, we got the data log started. Now we're about to go ahead and take it on a test drive. Sadly, we can't data log it with it in track and sport and stuff like that because we reset the battery, of course. We're just about to get a normal test drive. Go do some pulls, you feel me? No, you gotta, when you 
but when the light turned green, you gotta lightly get on the gas, and then as soon as you hook, then full throttle it. Gotta teach my son something and shit. Bro, I wish my heat worked in this bitch, dog. Yeah, I ain't like it. Hella cold, cold in that bitch. I think it was what I heard, what I thought it was. Yo, thought it was? <laughs> Yo, they <don't> it take. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that motherfucker was under the car. You know what I think flew off? Hmm? The clamp. The clamp probably flew off. It sounded like it was like some metal. Oh, I ain't hear no metal. Uh, what you hear? I don't know. It just sounded like just something fell off. Doing a pull sound crazy though on the freeway. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Plus them, them cats, uh, them mid bikes make your shit sound way different. All right, y'all, but we about to go pick up brick and then we gonna go to a spot and we gonna uh, rev the engine and stuff like that. Now we're done doing the data log. As you can see, we about to go ahead and view and sync, sync files. All right, y'all, we had the crib. We about to go ahead and see if the intake flew off. Yeah, it came off, of course. It's gonna be hard to keep this on, I'm not gonna lie. We could not find a clamp that was big enough. I don't even know what we about to do about this, to be honest. All right, y'all, we finally figured out how to actually keep this on here, but we do still gotta figure out this, though. What is it up against fucked. there? Yeah. How you know? Look at it. It's, oh, shit. Yeah, it's in there. It even Ooh. scratched it right here. No I feel like I need a new one of these that actually no, got it's like because your throttle body is at a completely different angle, right? So it, it must be like a custom one I need or something. I'm a custom coupler, yeah. Or you probably need a coupler with a bend to it, yeah, like a little elbow. You ugly as hell. All right, y'all, we about to go ahead and give it a test drive now since it's not going to just pop out. We can actually data log it like how we're supposed to. So let's go ahead and get in the car. Yo, as y'all can see, we got our pages back. Oh yeah, yeah, battery light is. The serpentine belt? Yeah. How did the serpentine belt fall off? Go to your coolant. This 
just monitor that. That's the only thing. Oh my god, no way this just happened, bro. This bitch slow as hell. Oh! <laughs> Your shit's starting to get hot. Oh yeah, that bitch is getting hot as hell. It's moving fast. This is climbing. Come on. No! Come on, green light. Nigga, come on. Bro, these niggas dropping slow as hell, dog. We got a f***ed up cat. This bitch, I'm reheating on this piece of shit out the way. Bro, go around this nigga. You can fit. No <laughs> I forgot this nigga ain't got no moves. Nigga driving slow as hell. Move that pump out the way. Move. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <shit, man. laughs> oh no, it's going fast hell. Oh, what the fuck? Hurry up. Move out the way. We do this bitch. We do this bitch. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we at 219, bro. Hurry up. Hurry up. Nigga, 222. Nigga, this bitch jumping. Damn. Up. You gotta cut this bitch off. Holy Oh, yeah. Bruh. And the serpentine bro, bill. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's oh, my God. <laughs> what the f What was it running off of? <laughs> bro, we got no belt at all. <laughs> we got no serpentine belt or no damn. What the f <laughs> Oh, my God. Bro, the tensioner. The belt right there. The tensioner. The boat came off. <laughs> no way. Ew. Oh, my God. This is a little... <laughs> You can't catch a break with this bitch. Oh my god, and it damaged the Kong. Oh, you're not Kong! <laughs> uh, all this is happening before April 13th. I'm glad we did it now Look instead of later. Is. The green belt is the only one you gotta worry about. No, you can get a green belt from O'Reilly's, I think. Cap. Let me stop the video. <laughs> Good now, for sure. What's up, YouTube? It's the next morning. This part of the video is gonna be where we end off the video, but we're gonna give y'all some pools and stuff like that. We got everything fixed on the car. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all in a minute. I know y'all hear that wine getting a little bit louder. I ain't gonna lie, for a, a 20, damn near $2,100 mod, um, I'd expect it to be louder. Today we have to dog the car to test out the snout because yesterday did not go good or the day before that or the day before that. After we fix something, another thing broke. So now I feel like we fully got it, but we just got to see by dogging on a car. All right, y'all, let's put the car in sport or track or something. I'm gonna let y'all hear the whine real quick. Y'all around 35 to 4,000 RPM, if it starts screaming, it's like it opens up. Y'all let me know down in the comments some other mods I can do to make my, not my intake, my supercharger louder. I was thinking about porting it. Y'all can kind of hear the difference. I need to hear the supercharger outside of the car, bro. Oh my God, it was belt slip right there, y'all. I heard all belt slip. My shit fast now. Cap. Oh yeah. Thousand horse horse. We got my boy right here. He about to go ahead and record me revving it. I still have yet to hear the supercharger while the new snout and throttle bodies on here. So let's hear it. <laughs> I want to get some flybys, but I don't know where to go. I need a pulley on this John. Be honest, bro. Do this sound like a piece of shit? We didn't even have it in track or anything when we was revving it. Let's pull over. Let's do it again. Right here, right here. Pull over right here. Stop right here. Stop no, here. hell no. Stop right here. Stop right here. <laughs> yeah, that's a good neighborhood. We're not going to do that. All right, y'all. Let's do a, uh, a 40 roll real quick. police right there oh my god was that bump? did they is they not pulling out no, they, is they not pulling out i think that's his house you think that's his house yeah oh my god party. my heart just dropped bro <laughs> i literally just flew past the police that had to have been his house bro i just did that loud ass pop right by him too or it might have been one of those uh decoy cars uh -huh. you know they just like leave them shit. this just made me nervous to say 
<laughs> oh my god, and he had his windows down too. God damn, damn. I can feel every bump in here since I added these lowering springs, bro. Oh my god, here go another officer. They literally on here, bro. Let's get some ribs. And then you're gonna spin it. I should. That for sure sound better in sport mode. Now what we gonna do is we gonna get some flybys and then after that, we might just go ahead and do donuts. Yeah, we should do some donuts. All right, bet. And y'all, the reason why I got this towel right here is because it's rubbing. I'm gonna get an angle grinder and cut that, but. <laughs> Well, fuck you. Yeah. Now he was recorded, trying yeah. to show his nephew or some shit. I'm gonna put y'all on and we get to buffets. AB. Yo, baby. All right, so this is this is on recorded video, right? Yeah. All right, you see, you said when my car is gonna be done. I just want to keep this for proof. <laughs> I'll say Friday. 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 What's Friday? Safe, bro. What's Friday? Friday is the fifth. The fifth. Okay, so he said the fifth. I'm keeping this in the record for like suing purposes because if it's not done by the fifth, I'm gonna sue him. Are you gonna help him? Hey, where's Moody's? No, no, it's all hands on deck. I promise. Everybody. Okay. okay. Even out. Pull, pull the out. Did you wash your car yet or no? No, bro. I'm waiting for him, bro.